Yo, what is up everybody? It is my Leaf Shane here, and we got another awesome Roblox game for you guys today. And it's called Trade Lands by Near Miss TFW. And why is this game so awesome? Well, let's just say it puts you on the sea like no other Roblox game. And if you guys like being pirates and you like trading, this is really the game for you. Now, luckily for me, I don't like either, so I actually won't be playing this game today. Uh, <laughs> no, just kidding. Uh, but I think I would choose Pirate if I had to choose again. Because trading can get kind of boring. And I always wanted to attack ships and attack people and just blow ships up and stuff. I mean, I know it makes me sound pretty bad when I say it like that. But it seems more fun to do that sort of stuff than just trading and just going from NPC to NPC. And just rolling with it like that. Now, originally in this game, you start off with a small rowboat sort of looking thing. And you can upgrade your ship in order to unlock bigger ships. And you can also add cannons and things to your ship to make it better and more powerful. So you can attack other people's ships and have a better outcome in battles. And that's really what I like about this game is the fact that it allows that sort of customization. So there will be ships that are stronger than others, which is always a good thing because it keeps players like me playing the game because I always want to have a better ship than my friends or other people in the game so I can always win battles and always come up on top. Although in this game, I think some things are lacking as far as battling. I did not see really too many pirates which was a little bit disappointing because you always want to see pirates in games like this. You always want people to attack other people. You always want that intensity because I always want to feel like I'm about to get attacked by a shark while I'm on the sea in, in, a, in a video game, in a video game, not in real life, <laughs> not in real life because that will be bad. <laughs> I, I will have a heart attack. But um, I think if that sort of thing happened inside of this game, it would just add more intensity and more players would really get into the battling in this game. Now, speaking of battling, what I do love about this game is that you can join a crew and then work as a team to attack other ships, which sort of gives you like an edge over those opponents that are sort of solo on the sea because you have an extra fighter. So if you die, your friend could probably kill him and then you sort of win the battle that way. Unless the guy is like some fearsome sword fighter and easily destroys both of you because you guys both suck. But I really don't think that sort of thing would happen. That'd be really, really unfortunate if it does happen to one of you guys. But I highly doubt somebody has that sort of sword fighting capability considering I'm not that good. Not saying I'm the best sword fighter, but <laughs> I, I don't think anybody could do it. And then I'm going to have people in the comments saying, Challenge accepted, Shane. Challenge accepted. And all I'm going to do is just laugh when it actually happens to somebody. So, uh, <laughs> and I also want to note that you really can't get out of PvP. There is different PvP options in this game. One of them being normal. One of them being flag hidden. And one of them being all. And none of the PvP options actually say you cannot be attacked by anybody. They all say you can be attacked by everybody. But Flag Hidden is probably the dumbest one I would select. Because what does Flag Hidden do? You cannot attack and can be attacked by anyone. So that pretty much means you are dead instantly because you are not able to do damage. But everybody else can attack you. Which is horrible. It's a horrible idea. I don't know why he has that. It's a good thing that you can't avoid being attacked. But it's not a good thing that you have an option where you can't attack anybody. That's that's People will get confused by that. And they'll start using flag hit. And they're like, oh, I can't be attacked by anybody. And then the pirate comes around. And then he just totally sweeps their ship. And then that's it for them. So hopefully he just removes that option in general. So that no more people get confused because I actually noticed some person in the comments that said hey I had flag hidden on how come I got attacked please read the fine print it is not a typo <laughs> you will be killed <laughs> and not only that but I also think you lose your ship if your ship gets destroyed and you'd have to repair it to fix it back up so you also lose that as well which is kind of a disappointment for you not actually learning how to read <laughs> no i'm just playing i'm just messing with him but at the same time make sure you do 
you guys do read all the fine print and you don't do something silly like that so you don't build up a huge really awesome ship and then get it destroyed because you didn't read that's pretty silly to me and while we're on the subject of reading please note that in the game description and on the loading screen it does actually say that this game requires a decent computer and a good internet to run otherwise your ship may move very slow and you will not be able to swim even with a supercomputer you may still have occasional problems and that's a really big thing to note in this game because I seen a lot of people in the comments are like yo man it's lagging Oh, please help lag. Oh my gosh, why am I lagging? Well, that's probably why. It's either you don't have a good internet or you don't have a good gaming computer. And that's generally the problem. And I'm not trying to be mean about it by any means. If you really can't afford a decent computer or good internet, this game probably just isn't for you because it will run so slow that basically your fun goes out the window because you're just lagging the entire time and then you really don't like this game because of that reason but who knows maybe as this game progresses they find new ways to reduce the amount of lag that you experience with your computer because i mean they even said even if you have a super computer you may still have problems so it might not even be you you might have a really good computer and it might just be the game itself or the roblox servers so i take that back maybe you don't have a crappy computer maybe it's just roblox but I gotta say, my greatest experience in this game was when I met Voter because right away, the dude said, Hey man, will you join my crew? And I said, heck yeah, I will join your crew. My, my ship sucks. So, <laughs> yeah, I'll join your crew. Now, I originally thought that this dude was just attracted to my gold Dominus and just wanted free Robux because generally what happens when I go in games and I wear a Dominus is I'll just get a bunch of noobs that come up to me and they're like, Yo, man, can I get some Robux? Oh, my God, you have so many hats. Can I get some Robux? Hey, man, can I get some limiteds? Can I get some money? Can I get some of this? And I'm just like, heck, no, you can't get in none of this, bro. It's too much for you. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But uh, I, I basically kind of turned them down. And this guy, luckily, he was just a really friendly guy. And he just wanted to be my friend and hang out and be in a crew together. So I thought that was really cool of him. And he actually tried to show me here what it would be like if I was battling a pirate. Because what really happened inside this game was somebody got scared and they left the server because they were like, Oh no, they're hunting for me. Yeah, dude, just because you're a pirate doesn't mean we're scared of you, dude. <laughs> we're about to get you, you know. And then pretty much after that, he was like, alright, I'm bailing. And <laughs> he's gone, dude. So, I wasn't able to experience a real pirate attack, but I was able to experience a really, really good laugh from a new friend. Now, what started to get to me was he went a little bit too far out. Like, I didn't want him to get in trouble for this because, remember, this is Roblox. You could get basically banned for saying girls. Like, I'm not even lying. The one time I played Roblox and I was talking to my friend in, like, Trade Hangout or something, I said girls and I got banned from Roblox. So... <laughs> When this dude started talking about DDoS attacks and stuff, just joking around like as a friend, I was really, really worried about putting it in this video because you know Roblox is just going to take it so dead seriously that this dude, you'll never see his account again. And hopefully that does not happen because I actually enjoyed hanging out with him and I don't want to see him lose his account or anything. So just so you know, Roblox, this was just a joke. And that's all I got for this Let's Talk Trade Lands video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let me know what experiences you had with Trade Lands and what they could do possibly to maybe improve the game. But until next time, thank you Leafs for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.